Hello and welcome. Uh, today we are playing Star Citizen again. Um, going to check out some cargo routes and I wanted to show off my brand new ship. Check it out. The Hercules, uh, the C2 Hercules. Uh, this is the biggest cargo ship in the game playable currently. Um, since we were so close to the wipe for uh, 3.18, um, there's a lot of folks that have built up a lot of assets over the last uh, several years or months since the last wipe, I guess. And uh, I was uh, playing with a couple of new friends and uh, one gave me a bunch of money. So, picked up this guy. I was really excited to see how it works. Um, I wanted to take you guys along for a couple of cargo runs. So let's hop in, we can take a quick look around and then we'll get going. So this is sealed off, so if the cargo bay was open to atmosphere, we wouldn't um, have any problems having helmets off, but massive cargo bay with huge doors that can fit quite a lot of different vehicles in here. Um, I can link to a couple of the videos that go over everything that fits, because uh, I not don't have access to all the vehicles to uh, run tests, but I do have this guy right here, which is the Pisces C8R. So it's the medical rescue version. And I've got it parked really tight up here. Um, might be touching a little bit, but it's been fine so far. Love this little ship. Um, we had run some missions with an expedition in here. That was really great, um, but we're finding some problems with the... Uh, seating arrangements and not having access to the med bed looks like this is just sitting i don't know who put that down but we're gonna fix that real quick here okay no problem all right so yeah this is the pisces c8r um, it is the like medical shuttle rescue vehicle um, we'll start in the back here so you walk in, you've got your gate entrance, that's the only entrance. Walk into this sort of decontamination area, or like to keep these medical areas separate from exterior. There's some component access here that uh, doesn't do anything for now, but uh, potentially in the future. Come in here, um, there is some storage here that are actually separate storage inventories that can be accessed separately from the uh, vehicle inventory. Then down here you've got a little working fridge that comes stocked with some detox items, some drinks and snacks, some flares as well. And when you spawn your ship, that will uh, restock, which is a really, really great feature. And honestly, it's kind of overpowered. Um, I'm, I'm wishing they had some other ships that uh, could utilize um, their fridges, like the Hercules, for instance. Uh, and actually use them rather than being a bit of a prop. So then you do have the bed here. This will only assist with low level injuries, level three uh, injuries. So you can't expect to have a full heal here or to spawn here after a death, uh, but you can also use it too. If you'll notice my food and drink meters at the bottom there, when we lay down in the bed, we'll go ahead and get topped off. So in addition to having the food and drink that spawns in the fridge for taking on the go, if you're going to be in the ship, uh, you can top that off uh, and access the uh, medical options there. And then we've got our cockpit. There's some other uh, access points here that, you know, hopefully will uh, will have um, some functionality to them. But it's a great little ship, especially long to have along with something like the Hercules. So if you want to drop in on missions, uh, park the big ship somewhere and then hop around on the little ship, uh, you can do. Um, but this is in the, the sort of main component access. Again, the, this stuff isn't quite uh, hooked up yet, but there's some storage as well. You can um, access from here, uh, a little box spot, something like that, storage area. Um, then we can walk around to the recreation room. Um, this is just a neat little hangout spot for right now more on the sort of RP side of things. Uh, there's not a lot of interactivity here, so this would be something that, you know, if you guys were running a little more role-based, role-play-based missions or having a gathering or whatever, this could be a fun room to, a uh, good setting to hang out in. And yeah, this fridge, 
Does not work, but has some tasty looking watermelon in there and some drinks and stuff, some sprouts. Uh, would be really great to get that um, updated. Um, some additional supplies, um, a food drink dispenser area, and then sort of tray table cafeteria like uh, setup here, which is actually proportionally quite large for you know what the crew we would look at. And then this sort of uh, kind of Star Wars looking uh, side table here. Uh, you know, a lot of the aesthetic you get uh, from some of these ships it gives more of a you know Star Trek sleek, futuristic, clean vibe. Um, I think this is giving me sort of Star Warsy vibes. It's a little weathered, low lighting. Um, yeah, pretty neat. I like it. So then we can walk along back to the back of the structure here, which this area, um, I'm not sure exactly what the plan is here if this is something different in the other variations of this ship possibly weapons additional weapon storage something of that nature and i don't know if in 3.18 if this will be additional accessible store cargo storage so if you look at any of the um, ptu footage of the upcoming update you'll see in the cargo holds there are in some ships additional storage spaces that you can access from uh, the cargo terminal and select uh, that you can't get access, you can't, wouldn't necessarily be able to pull a box physically inside. And, you know, you could take it up the elevator here, but um, you can access it from a terminal. And I wonder if these spots are going to be part of that or, or not. Uh, we've got, you know, whatever this is, a warp drive, I guess, something cool. Uh, neat lit ribbon cables. And then um, same thing on this side, just open spot here. Um, through this is uh, the habitation area, the little bunks. We've got a couple of cabinets for storage, some desks, some monitors, uh, bed areas. This is pretty neat. They do come with uh, lighting options. So you're going to have it on high, on low light, and then completely off. We'll go ahead and put it on a mid. Um, some little plushy toys. Uh, cool stuff, just little flare items. And I think you can also, yeah. We can also adjust the lighting in here uh, to like, you know, sleepy time. And I believe we can hit the emergency lights as well. Yeah, so that's um, if you're getting fired upon or, or taking damage. There are also a couple of bathrooms here um, along the side, which I blew right past. I was wondering where these were at uh, initially, but um, yeah, a couple bathrooms here as well. Then we will go up front to the hall of doors um, again this is kind of weird because these access points aren't functional right now so you do have this sort of long hallway it's, it's neat to look at but every time you want to get in and out of the cockpit you got to walk past this currently not functional area here's some computer uh, server looking terminals um, presumably for uh, data modules in a future update um, this looks to be some uh, gear storage. So if you wanted to have, you know, street clothes on in the, uh, in the, uh, main area here, uh, the bridge, you could have your armor and stuff. And then, uh, what I believe to be escape pod access here, I, I don't quite know, but it, that's kind of what it looks. Oh, it says escape pods right there. Yeah. Escape pods. Great. Um, so then we have your, uh, bridge. Uh, these terminals don't currently do anything. I do know in the other version, the combat, I believe the the M2, there is another turret seat here for the uh, remote turret operation. Uh, but yeah, then we can hop in and uh, get rolling. So we're probably not going to get any Laranite. So we've got another Hercules on site, which is unfortunate. A Carrick, actually, not an M2. So it's pretty close, but I think we're going to be fine. 
Might get a little paint damage when he takes off, but that's okay. Let's get right in here. I just want to make sure that if he is coming for cargo, he doesn't just sneak in here and try to take everything while we're not looking. Okay, so I do have the, the ship in there, so it does take up some room. 528 down from 696. It was getting a lot more space. Yeah, it looks like they're already sold out of Laranite. Well, I guess we'll have to go to a whole load of titanium. Again, not ideal. Um, we really want that uh, four and change uh, credits per unit that we can get with the Laranite, um, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and pick that up just to get something uh, out of this trip. We could try to go to um, Lathan, but it, it could very well be the exact same thing there, so I don't want to spend too much time when, again, that's the whole point of what we're doing here today is trying to earn some credits in quickly. But yeah, there's something really satisfying to me about seeing all this cargo in here. Oh, let's maybe let's uh, shut that gate so we're not damaging this ship. There you go, buddy. Settle down. Okay, we've arrived at the uh, central station of the business district. Okay, let's check it out. Select the Hercules. Yeah, 8.9. So we did all right with that at 2,799 units. Not a bad haul. But what we're going to do next is the piece that can really bump up your credits per hour. And it's it utilizes all of your time. So instead of going... Uh, out, out and back from here with an empty ship. We're gonna purchase the scrap here and then sell it very close. Um, the, I think the quickest I've got it done from like leaving this screen to making the sale was like five and a half minutes. Sell this scrap. Yeah, 1.86. Not bad. I mean, again, it's $34,000, I believe, in, in profit for a very short run. Once you've sold that scrap off, um, really it's just a matter of heading back to Ariel and either Bezdek or Lathan and starting the loop again. Um, this one wasn't as good. I, I think the, the best single run of, of just going to aerial back and then the scrap that I've had was somewhere it was right under 200,000 something like 198,000 um, and then I was able to get back and purchase another round of Laranite and go back to Lorville uh, to get just under between 300 and 400,000 credits in like an hour, 10 hour, 15 minutes. So not a bad route. Um, it does get a little crowded, uh, but could be a good way for you to make some credits in a relatively safe fashion if you're trying to build up um, your stack to get another ship. Um, next time, I think we're going to try out some different game loops, possibly get on with some of the buddies and record some of that footage. Um, if you have something specific you'd like to see, uh, go ahead and let me know. 
and uh, we'll, we'll continue to, to learn. Again, this is I'm a brand new Star Citizen player, so there's lots to get caught up on. Uh, but I'm hoping that uh, making some of these videos and interacting with the community is going to help me to do that and find some really interesting and fun sort of player-driven narratives we can, we can dig into. Until next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.